What's going on guys? Blazing Dad here today in place of Blazing Tech. He's actually filming and what I've got next to me here is my 2018 Honda Africa Twin 1000cc and it's um, the Adventure Sport model and it comes standard um, with a bigger tank and the hand guards they call this the light bar and the bash plate and what I'll be doing today is showing you how to do an oil and filter change on this bike. Right. Step, step number one YouTube is that you need to remove the Allen nuts. Um, the size on there is uh, five millimeter. There are two on this side, two on the other. I did warm up the bike first, rode it around the block once, brought it back home, and um, let it cool down for about five minutes. Okay guys, uh, I've taken two from that side, two from this side, and I found that there are two more right underneath, right in the front. You're rolling. All right, and voila, here is our genuine Honda skid plate. Okay, in order to successfully do this job, you're gonna need some tools, but you're also gonna need uh, four liters of 10W30 uh, motorcycle oil and you're gonna need a genuine filter you could use an aftermarket one um, genuine Honda is not very expensive you know just for the peace of mind I, I go with the original equipment and you're also gonna need two drain plugs because drain plug crush washers because there are two drain plugs for this engine all right uh, now we are ready to drain out the oil. So on this side, I'm going to remove the dipstick right here. Actually, that's the filler plug and the dipstick is on this side right here. And we're going to need these in just a few moments. Right, there are two drain plugs on this motorcycle uh, and they're, they require a 12 millimeter socket to remove. One is here and the other is right here. Okay, in order to um, make sure that we get all the oil out of the oil pan, I have straightened the bike up and I'm just uh, tilting it just a little bit just to shake out the, any residual oil we've got down there uh, out of both drain plugs. Right. Okay, I switched to a different oil filter wrench because the cap was too big, so I have an adjustable one here. And it's going to go on top of the oil filter like so. Yeah, so she goes, we're just calling you. She goes, 
once you break it free, you could, you could take the cap off and unscrew it, and yet more oil will come out. Okay, I've got the two drain plugs right here and I've placed the brand new crush washers on them. So I'm gonna proceed now by installing these back on, then I'll put on the new filter and then we'll fill her up with oil. All right guys, uh, what we're doing now is I'm cleaning off any residual oil that that could have um, come on the on the bottom of the engine pan so that um, it doesn't burn later and so we have a nice clean clean canvas to work with. Here's our genuine Honda oil filter and before we reinstall it onto this motorcycle I'm going to take a thin layer of oil, of new oil and put it around this o-ring right there that way it makes a nice seal okay we're ready to reinstall it with that thin film of oil And I always just like to do this hand tight, that way next time it'll come right off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get a funnel and put it in that hole right there. And I'm gonna put four liters of oil in, and then I'm gonna put the cover back on, put the dipstick back in, uh, start it, let it cool off and check the oil. And it is recommended to pour your oil very slowly. Take your time. Okay, after filling the engine up with oil, we're gonna start it. engine's running I like to check for leaks. So I'm going to let it run for a few minutes and then I'll turn it off for two minutes. Make sure that the bike is upright and check the oil level. Okay so it's absolutely critical in order to get the right amount of oil in here is um, you've got the dipstick at, you've got the dipstick and you want to make sure that it's clean. Um, make sure the tip of it's clean and you want the bike upright so it kind of becomes a two-man job unless you're he-man and you could hold the bike up with your right hand and, and check it with your left you want to get somebody so Blazing Tech is going to hold up the bike for me and check and then that way I'm going to pull the dips push, push it in clean it off and pull it out and check the level when it's straight and then as long as you are right here in between right as long uh, this is the max mark right here. This is where you want to be. You don't want to be above it. That's too much oil in your engine. You shouldn't really be below it. You're probably okay somewhere in the middle. I like to run right here, right? Very, very close to the upper level, but you definitely don't want it below here because that would mean you're too low.